Welcome to an NCAA.com March Madness post-game Skype session. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Wisconsin's Ethan Happ. After a 10-point home win over Michigan, uh, I'm only saying surprising because it was a three-point game with like 50 seconds left, but you guys ended up extending it to 10. You had 26 points, 10 boards, and seven assists. Uh, a remarkable outing. Two of four from the line, which is obviously very key. So, Ethan, a little big picture first. Um, you guys had already lost at home uh, in this league, which I know had really sort of eaten you guys up. So with that being said, losing at home to Wisconsin, uh, to Minnesota, how much did you guys sense an urgency to get a home win like this one? Right. Uh, you know, in our, our three losses in the Big Ten, uh, two of them come at home. And, you know, that's not the way Wisconsin really operates. You know, if you come in here, you got to go through a grinder. Um, so it was tough losing those games, but I think in all three losses, it was, it was close. It was down to the wire. And, you know, if we executed better down the stretch in those games, we would have won them and we'd be sitting at six and zero rather than three and three. So that's kind of the mentality that we came in having, um, into this game. Yeah. I wasn't giving you a pass on the Purdue game, but it was an overtime. It really could have gone either way. It, it kind of felt like the Minnesota one was the one that really, I think you guys would want back because of the way they sort of pulled ahead in that one. Michigan came in undefeated. Um, you know, obviously they've been playing some of the best basketball in the country. What did you guys think you needed to do to make sure that you got this W? Uh, defense is always first and foremost for us. You know, Michigan has a high powered offense and, um, and then taking care of the ball on the other end, Michigan usually turns teams over a lot. And I think us keeping our turnovers at a minimum, uh, that really helped us. And then the last thing is just playing free, you know, we're a good team and we know that. Um, and we just have to come out with that kind of mindset. You know, if we mess up, we'll just be, we're on phase and we just move on to the next thing. You know, you're a good team, but you needed a win like this. I mean, uh, you know, for that conference after last season, so many injuries, not making the tournament. How much do you think in the locker room and with the staff that you guys needed a win like this to just say, okay, we know we're good. And now we've got a result that proves it. Yeah, I, th- I think I know exactly what you're saying where, you know, everyone's like, OK, we're back on track. Um, you know, we were kind of trending towards what happened last season um, and now we're back on track. But we're not going to be the biggest thing is we can't let um, complacency fill out throughout the locker room. Um, and we just have to stay on top of our stuff and come into every game like we're playing the number two team in the country. So, you know, the teams want to try to hack you the hack a half. You ended up two of four splitting one of two, one of two, I think, down the stretch. Um, when you know that they're trying to come after you and there was that intentional foul late by uh, Iggy on you, what does that do to your psyche that they know they're trying to put you at the line and you're an All-American? Yeah, it's different. You know, I, I mean, I've never had anything like it before um, and I've never really seen it in college basketball too often. Like like you said, with a player who touches the ball a lot. Um, so going into the line, you have to stay confident, um, keep it smooth and you know, just trust that I put in thousands and thousands of reps. Um, and I know my teammates are behind me. They tell me the whole time I'm on the floor, and I know the coaching staff is the same way. Um, so just confidence stepping up there. And if they're going to follow me, then i got to make them. You know how difficult it is to go through this league with let alone one loss, for, you know, being undefeated. Michigan State still undefeated at this juncture. Just put in perspective, this is your fourth year in the league playing. Uh, just how much of a grind is it for those that maybe not truly understand uh yeah you said it it's a grind and you know our backs are against the wall right now um obviously NCAA tournament is what we want to get to but the big 10 championship is is you know what we set out to do um michigan and michigan state they're not going to lose a whole lot of games um they're really good teams so we're sitting at three losses right now and we just have to keep going upward from this from this win well ethan i appreciate it i know this was one that you guys desperately wanted stay warm you got a little snowstorm going on there in madison (laughs) And it was a much-needed victory for Wisconsin this afternoon over Michigan. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me.